Okay. Welcome everybody to Let's Play. Let's up. Well, it's not really a Let's Play. It's more like Let's Enjoy. But welcome everybody to Let's Play Illusions of Gaia. <sighs> Great game from my childhood. Let's go ahead and do that. I had to do a quick test. Make sure oh, make sure everything was okay. So, but everything is okay. It's cool. Uh, I will be reading Will's text because uh, he has all the storyline. It, it's his story, so all of it. All I'm really, I'll read bits and pieces, but mainly I'm just going to be reading Will's text. Uh, Will's name, yes. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. I'm reading this with my eyes closed. I still can't believe my father is gone. I will never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer just to see him again. And the world. Ta-da! Told you. I'm a genius. <clears throat> Alright, that's all for today. You four do your best not to fall behind. We are the only four in class. Yes, there's demons outside. Uh, they have all the text color coordinated to the best of their ability. So, like, Seth is all in purple. So he's the one in purple, or she's the one I still can't tell. I've never been able to tell. At the usual place, I have to go home first. I'll see you guys later. Uh, hurry home. Your mother will think you were kept after school. So that's Seth, Eric, and this is Lance. And this is the teacher. The world shines so brightly through eternity. Um, weirdos, people. <clears throat> oh. Um, there's these things called... Uh, ah, there we go. Red jewels. They are... There's a total of 50 of them. They are everywhere. There we go. Dark space. Uh, this is similar to the hub from Soul Blazer. Um, mainly, main reason is you just save here for now. Uh, there's some other stuff that you can do. Uh, dark power is kind of the biggest thing. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Alright, so this is the menu. These are red jewels. Trade for goods in town. Ooh. Don't do that. This is a condition. This is it's pretty much your stat menu. Style, will, that's our character. HP, eight out of eight. DP is I'll show you that in a second. Strength is how much damage we do, and defense is how much damage we negate. But it really never matters. They always do about the same amount of damage. Um, the DP is in the center on the top of the screen there. Uh, how many times? Yes, I will come up here as many times as I want. Um, they are, um, I believe, dark points. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. Uh, my astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. <gasps> A star. I envy you when I see the sea breeze blowing in your hair like that. It's because you're wearing that. Eric lives here. He's the um, yellow text boy. It's the little things in life that make rich or poor. Well, I heard any good stories? Nope. Hello, sir. Eric's father. Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. So what you're saying is you moved to this town, you chose the biggest plot of land for yourself and built it. You jerk. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. See, why weren't they in school? Oop. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hit a button. Ignore it. I'm playing this emulated because I can't find my SNES cart. What are you playing? How long have you been playing this? All eternity. The game is like red light, green light. It seems like red light, green light to me. 
Eric's house. Ma'am, you're smoking. You're on fire. No, you're not on fire. It's just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. So it steams? This is what happens when you think too hard. Whish. Oh, and um, that uh, pink thing on his back. It's evident later, but I'll go ahead and just say it. it's a flute. He plays a flute because flutes are awesome and not totally gay. Ha ha. Mmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Um, careful, man. If you cook too high heat, it will blow up. A lot of strange merchants lately doing business. I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. I don't need a weapon. And the reason there's merchants is because there's a star in the sky that looks like it's flying towards the planet. <clears throat> you look like a fast runner to run, push the control pad twice. What do you mean? I just run. Because I want to. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why he hates to see his parents. Oh, that's right. Is that this one? This is Lance's house. Hello. Oh, she's talking to Will now. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Thanks for rubbing it in. Yep. Is it this one? Is it this one? Yep. So, um, I do have a guide for the red jewels, because every, every time I played this as a kid, I could never collect all of the red jewels. I could never find them all. Owie! No sooner was the door to Seth's house open than a jar came flying out and smacked me in the face. Oh, what's wrong with having a little fun with the hard-earned money? You're broke. No joke, that man, I put up with this for Seth's sake, but if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. Maybe it's worse that you stay. Gosh, I can't pull it up. Well, use your arms. Pull. Pull! Pull! Uh, he has the uh, final uh, Red Jewel in South Cape, and I'll just show you how to get it as soon as I can. All right, it was natural for the four friends to call. All right, when it's yellow, it's either Will speaking or the narrator. The narrator is Will, but in the future. This Will that we're playing as is the past Will, technically, so the narrator is Will and Will. It's kind of weird. So just go with it. Sometimes it says, you know, me or whatever, but... Sometimes it's called there. They really should have changed the color of the text. Um, yeah. It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Uh, you, usually, when lessons were done at the school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. You're not equipped. I'm going to win. What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. No, duh. Alright, suddenly Eric rushed in when I couldn't finish reading the text because I was waiting for it to finish. <clears throat> Big news! That should be capitalized. The princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to Southgate. So we stand up and say that's all. You came in such a hurry, though, that I thought something really big happened. Yeah, just a spoiled girl. Liar! <laughs> he has a crush. Maybe the soldiers will come looking for it. The soldiers are so cool. He wants a steel helmet. Well, go ask for one. Go ask for... No, better yet, go buy one. You got some money. Okay, so Seth is a boy. Ugh. Damn text. So the text progression usually, uh, sometimes not all the time. 
but it'll detect your movement as a button press and skip text. Uh, wants to see Will's mysterious power of being able to move things without touching them. So this is where dark power comes in play and um, the twirling of the flute. He can move certain objects, only if they're made out of this particular material. How many times I see it, it's still amazing. Next, pick a card. I'll put four cards face down. Pick the Ace of Diamonds. <clears throat> All right. So no matter which one you pick, it will always be the Ace of Diamonds, no matter what. It's the Ace of Diamonds, because I'm awesome. <sighs> it must be some kind of psychic power thing. No, I am just awesome. Most people have five senses. Hearing, taste, smell, sight, touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. Oh, see. That's what I mean. I'm pressing up on the D-pad, and it's making things go wonky. Whoa. Like me running really fast. Okay, it's already late. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. See what I mean? The narrator and Will's text are the same color. You're still there. I'm going to go ahead and get this really quick. Basically, what you have to do is you have to keep going back in and out. I think he appears here. So. This may take a minute. Oh! Damn it. It was there, and we missed it. I hope it doesn't forever stay away. Please come back, Mr. Pot. <laughs> well, we got it on such a quick freaking run, too. Gosh, I can't pull it up. Why'd you put it back? Usually it takes me, you know, as long as it's taking me now. Before, you know, we got lucky. Come on. Come on. Alright, I better not have screwed myself out of this one. I'm going to be very, very upset if I have to go back and do it all over again. Give me my red jewel. I want to collect them all. They're like the Pokemon. Right, down there. Even if I move to another place, I can't pull it up. Well, move over here. You could obviously pull it up over there. Meow, meow, meow. Um, by the way, being episode one... These episodes are going to be anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes long. It's whatever we're doing at the moment. I found a red jewel. He lifted He lifted the strange teapot. Congratulations. All right, so we finally got all three here. Um, you can kind of consider this a let's play and a red jewel guide because I will be getting every single red jewel even if I have to f reset the game to do it. Okay? All right. This is the Red Jeweler. Um, I can see his inventory. So at three, you get a herb, which uh, heals your life. Not fully. At five, uh, Red Jewels, you get a Defense Force. At eight, you get a Life Force. At 12, you get a Strength. Psycho Power is at 20. Dark Power is at 30. The Psycho Power and Dark Power, I can't remember what they are because I don't think I've ever unlocked them. But then again, I haven't played this game for probably like three years. So you'll have to forgive me. And my secrets, I know what that is because I've looked it up in the past. Um, but, ah, right here. In my uh, little uh, red jewel locations, it tells, it tells me what the psycho power and dark power is. Um, the psycho power in increases uh, the power of Will's uh, certain attack. It's, uh, it's one of his attacks that he gets. 
And um, the other one is for more attack as well. And that looks like it. So I wanted to give you these rare, uh, these uh, red jewels. You have three. You've collected more than three. No, we haven't. We've collected exactly three. All right. Cool beans. We got ourselves a herb. All right. So it's late. Let's go home. Oh, damn it. I I'm terribly sorry about the text. Um, if I knew of a way to fix that, I would, but it's even like that on the uh, SNES. Will's house has a pig. The pig's wrecking the room, even though it looks pristine. But why is there a pig in my house? Mr. Oinkers. Mr. Oink, 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 oinkers. All right, fine. Upstairs we go. No? Okay. Screw you too, pig. No. All right. Hamlet. You shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? No. It's not my house. Um... Yeah, before where we had the silent protagonist, and in most RPGs where you have a silent protagonist, we have a non-silent protagonist. Yeah, so, what's your point? Frankly, you look a little shabby. What? Well, excuse me, lady. Your father, mother, not here, huh? I actually, I don't think it's ever mentioned what is what happened to his mother. My father's an explorer. He disappeared. I know Ullman the Explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No, I'll be... I'd be sad if it weren't... If it were me. I'm sorry. I'm an ass. Is there a piano here? No, there isn't, but Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. I'm gonna go talk to your pick. Okay, I think I've annoyed the pig. Enough. Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner's almost ready. Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother, grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice, and now I hate her. Because she is old. No! A scream from downstairs. And that is where we end the episode. No, I'm kidding. That would be mean. It's that girl screaming! Quickly, nonchalantly walk down the stairs and figure out her problem. Princess, I've been looking here for you. No, I don't want to go. What are you talking about? You have to go home. I'll lose my head if you don't. Shut up, I don't care. Princess, you do what you're supposed to do and come home. I don't want to. Oink. I'm so sorry. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. Kara? 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 Ra, ra. Let's call her Kara. Kara is a good name. Hmm. Oh well. Girl was kidnapped by the guards. Who cares? Just sit down at the table. Cherry music is back. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Edward Castle. There's a big viaduct, viaduct under the castle. Do you mean sewer? I used to be an architect. There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. Escaping or escaping? I don't know. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and never heard from again. Enough serious talk. Eat. It's upstairs. That's convenient. We sat down. Snail pie with whipped cream. Sounds delicious. No? 
Um, I only got one piece. Yeah, see what I mean about the, you know, narrator and Will talking? I, they... That night, Will dreamed that Kara and he took a trip around the world. See, it's just, it's weird. They mix and match it. They really should have changed the damn text box. <sighs> Especially that part of it. Uh, I heard more, uh, I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Where is it? A letter came. Bring the crystal ring from all men's things to Edward Castle. I've been in a, such a bad mood ever since I saw that letter. She was in a bad mood. So she is going to teach him a spell. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, I um I do apologize if that cut um cut out just a little bit. Um My audio capture is still buggy. Wee. All right, so we got the red jewels. We gave them away. Let's go see the guys. Hey guys, guess what? Uh, you're gonna, okay. Hey, hey, dude, guess what, Lance? Guess what? Guess, guess, oh. Hey, Eric, guess what? Oh. They don't care about me. Oh. I'll just leave. Forever. And never come back. <laughs> Alright, so this is, um, ugh, a very, very possibly long, see, uh, let's play. Uh, just because there's a lot of running around and talking to people and trying to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do because I don't know everything. Just be careful. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, this is the world map, by the way. We'll go to Edward's Castle next time. Thank you all for watching. Uh, have a uh, wonderful, wonderful time of day, whatever time of day you're watching this video. Uh, leave a comment if you're, you know, liking the, uh, length of the episode, or if you'd like them a little shorter, a little bit longer, you know, your opinion, go ahead and put it in there. Um, go ahead and thumbs up this video if you'd like, because it will help this video get up a little bit higher on the search pages, because I want people to watch them. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.